I'm Callan Hobman. Here's a look at what we're following on this Tuesday. KCSO is searching for the gunman in a shooting that sent one man to the hospital overnight. Deputies called out to North Indio Street around 2.45 this morning. Officials say the victim was in the street with major injuries and was taken to Kern Medical. There are no details on the suspect right now. If you have any information, call KCSO at 861-3110. Well, as we continue through National Police Week, local agencies are honoring officers who lost their lives in the line of duty. Thursday, there will be a road closure on Truxton Avenue between H and I Street from 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. BPD will honor those officers during a ceremony at their headquarters at 7 a.m. And then in the afternoon, another ceremony will be held to honor all Kern County law enforcement officers. That ceremony is at 12 at 1415 Truxton Avenue. Now to the ongoing shortage of baby formula that has left many asking what the government is doing to solve the problem. Now the Biden administration is answering that question. Multiple government agencies and private companies are now unveiling plans to address the shortage. But some families could still struggle to feed their babies for weeks. Companies like Gerber, Perigo and Abbott are partnering with government agencies who say they've agreed on new strategies. The Justice Department has asked a court to approve a consent decree which would reopen an Abbott formula plant with FDA supervision. Abbott says it could resume operations there two weeks after getting the green light, but it'll take more weeks for supply to actually reach store shelves. Now the FDA says it's also relaxing restrictions on some baby formula imports. And meanwhile, the White House says it's working with other domestic manufacturers to maximize output. And now let's send things over to 23 ABC's Veronica Morley for a check of our forecast. Hey, good morning. We've got some warm temperatures hitting us this week. Today we're in those upper 80s, so not too warm, but still a little bit warmer than what we're used to. We're reaching those 90s, though, heading into tomorrow for the rest of this week. A small cool off on Friday, and then as we head into this weekend, back into those 90s, seeing our high of 95 for, t for Monday. Now we've got some breezy conditions out here on the valley floor and some gusty wind speeds up in our mountain and desert areas, seeing those wind speeds upwards of 40 miles an hour. Now for their temperatures, Lake Isabella seeing those 80s mostly this this week. You're warming up to 89 tomorrow and then sticking with those upper 80s until about Monday and then you'll reach those 90s. To Hatchway and Fraser Park in those 70s today, you're hitting those upper 70s as we head into tomorrow and the rest of this week. By next Monday, you're going to be hitting those lower 80s, however, so the heat's on its way. Those are some of the stories we're following this morning. We'll have another update later today.